Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama Valve Puzzle, which is a level 8 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale and a level 4 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale. If you don't already have the Valve Puzzle, then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and we'll start with the disassembly of the Valve Puzzle. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled Valve Puzzle. The first thing we need to do before we disassemble the valve is, is get the right orientation for the outside gold piece. Now we're going to be focusing on the side that has the Hanayama engraving on and we're not going to have to swap sides at all which hopefully will make it a little bit easier to follow. Uh, the next thing we need to do for the outside gold piece is right. We, in what orientation are we going to hold it. So what we want to do is we want to look for the you might not be able to see this on camera but we're going to look for where we can see the highest sort of groove that comes out here on this outside gold piece. And when we found that position, we're gonna have it in this top position the whole time. If you can't see it, just, just trial and error your way through this first move uh, until you find the right thing. It shouldn't take you too long if you can't decipher where that, where that part is. Once we've got this orientation, we are gonna orientate the whole of the three middle pieces into this position where this Hanayama engraving is in the bottom left position as we are looking down on it. Once we've got this position we're gonna keep the two silver pieces in this sort of horizontal position and while we're keeping that position we're gonna turn the inside gold piece anti-clockwise until this Hanayama piece drops down. When it has dropped down what we're gonna do is we're gonna push up on the gold piece and we're gonna carry on turning anti-clockwise until the gold bit in the middle and the Hanayama piece move up a level into this position here. Once we've got it in this position, we're then going to turn all three pieces whilst keeping the gold bit up, we're going to rotate the whole thing around to this orientation here. And then you'll see what have just happened. The blank silver side has dropped all the way down, or dropped down about two levels. We need to drop it down one more level and to do that we're going to turn that inside gold piece clockwise until this silver, this blank silver piece drops down a little bit further. Our next goal is to now get this Hanayama silver piece in the same, on the same level as the other silver piece and to do that we're going to turn and orientate the puzzle in this position and you'll see the Hanayama piece has just dropped down a little bit further but not quite low enough to or as low as we want it. So what we're now going to do is turn anti-clockwise on the inside gold piece, keeping the silver pieces still, until the Hanayama piece drops down another level like it just did there. And now we're actually very close to solving it. What we're going to do is we're going to turn all three pieces anti-clockwise until the blank silver piece drops down even further. And from here, you might even be able to get it apart from here, but just to sort of do it properly without any, without any force, we're going to rotate all three pieces clockwise until we can then take out these three pieces here. And that is how we disassemble the valve puzzle. And to reassemble the valve puzzle, the first thing we need to do is get the correct orientation for all four pieces. We'll start with the inside gold piece where you'll see that there's a groove on the bottom, there's a groove on the middle, and there's no groove on the top. So as we're looking at it, we want the top as we're looking at it facing up. And when we're in this position, we have two choices for the Hanayama silver piece and the valve. Now we know that these need to be on opposites and we're going to again have the Hanayama engraving facing up the whole time, which means the valve engraving is going to be facing down. The Hanayama engraving, or the Hanayama silver piece, is going to go pretty much level with where the gold bit is. And this outer shell on the bottom of the gold inner bit is going to be in this position and we're going to line up the blank silver piece in this orientation here. Once we've got that we'll just clamp down on those and keep them tight while we orientate the, the big gold piece and again for here we want this groove in the top and this groove in the top right and then there's a groove at the bottom as well. So this is the orientation that we want. Once we've done that we're going to hook the Hanayama silver piece onto that bottom groove and we're then going to rotate all three pieces anti-clockwise just to sort of lock it in place. But this, the, the middle gold bit and the blank silver piece can drop out in this position. So just be careful of that or wary of that. Once we've got this position, we're going to push the blank silver piece up. And if it doesn't quite get to the same level as the Hanayama piece, 
we're just going to rotate the inside gold piece anti-clockwise until it does click on and when you, once you've got that position you'll then be able to turn all three pieces clockwise into this position here from here we're going to push the hanayama piece up and we're going to rotate the silver the inside gold piece clockwise until the hanayama piece becomes to its original position so level with the outside gold piece our next job is to get the blank silver piece up to this same level and to do that we're going to rotate all three pieces around to here and we're then going to push the silver piece up it doesn't quite come all the way up so what we need to do is turn the inside gold piece anti-clockwise until now we've got both silver pieces that are pretty much level and where they should be but the inside gold piece is a level up from where it should be now we're going to rotate all three pieces around to this position You'll notice that they're now this inside gold piece has dropped down to its original position, but the Hanayama piece isn't quite right. It's dropped down a little bit far. So from here, we're going to push up with the Hanayama piece as we turn the inside gold piece clockwise until that Hanayama piece comes back up. Once we've got it level, we just need to turn it around to make sure it doesn't drop back down, mess around with the inside gold piece so it doesn't accidentally drop back down. And that is how we reassemble the valve puzzle. So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama valve puzzle. If you want to pick up some more puzzles just like the valve puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.